Hello and a very warm welcome to this Bitwig tutorial. In this episode I talk about the classic LFO modulator. So let's get started. So this is the classic modulator, LFO modulator. You load it with clicking on the plus sign and just uh, type classic and then you get the classic LFO. So and um, there you have some um, different settings over here. Um, the first uh, thing is the display where you can see what you are dialing in. So if you start changing values, you will see that this um, waveform will change. The first setting we have here over here is the speed setting, the speed modes. And here you have the Hertz mode from um, dot zero hertz to let me see 50 hertz 50.1 hertz and you see really nicely in the display maybe i can increase this a little bit yeah that's right so um, you can see nicely how the display changes the waveform or, or how the um, waveform is uh, displayed over here then you can change to um, a setting where you can put in like uh, normal notes. Why is it running over here? Um, where you can input um, the normal notes like from um, 32 uh, bars to um, 64, 64th notes. Then you can dial in some trip, uh, some dotted notes and at least uh, the last one are the triplets. So that's everything for about the speed <clears throat> modes then there is an amount so you can if you for example um, dial in some modulation over here you can um, define how much of the modulation is actually used so if i uh, press a note right now and increase the amount so you can automate this stuff very easily. Then there's a phase and with the phase is always like um, setting the start point where something um, is started. So if I um, wiggle around with this knob, maybe not that fast, you can see that the waveform is changing because it's always um, shifting the phase um, from start to end from zero to hundred percent or from a zero degree to 360 degree then there's a bipolar setting um, that is default with a bipolar setting so you have the you have the whole the whole range here and you can see that the modulation is going down waiting a little bit and going up again because it tries to go in the negative way as well and if I deactivate the bipolar setting, it's just a unipolar setting. You see in the display, it's only half of the display used. And here you see the modulation is going continuously up and down. In comparison to... And the interesting part is um, that with a switching bipolar to unipolar, you notice the modulation is um, has a different speed because you don't have to um, do the whole modulation. If you have it on bipolar, you'd have to do the whole modulation over time, half of the of this knob here. So if there were like uh, one second or so, it has to do the whole way in one second and if you deactivate the bipolar to unipolar setting it has the whole second to just do half of the way then there's the retrigger um, option um, if you press a note the modulator is retriggered again like this and then you can um, run this whole modulator per voice so then the display changes as well
And you can use that to create some really nice, interesting textures and rhythmics. And over here you have the different waveforms or LFO um, types uh, you can use um, with this LFO. By, um, default uh, setting is the triangle wave. Then you have a sine wave. It's a bit more smooth than a, than a triangle. Then you have the um, square wave. Then you have the ramp. Then you have the saw wave. There's a random. And then there is a smooth random. It's like a little bit like a um, like a glide in, in the random value, so it doesn't jump. Um, immediately it tries to glide over to the next um, value. And um, over here you have um, a curve where you can, let me let me show that to you. Wait, maybe not like that because here you can see really nicely if you use that curve in this direction you see the the curve is more convex like that so it spends more time at the end of the modulation and if you put it down in the negative area it spends more time at the beginning of the modulation So you can uh, play really nicely uh, on this modulator. One thing I would love to have on those all of those um, LFOs where you can switch between uh, these continuous values and and uh, the discrete values that if you dial in, for example, something like um, a quarter note, you could um, copy that in a way so you have the uh, value from this quarter note regarding to your tempo over here right now. So you could do some more um, easy, continuous, let me say, um, um, fades uh, between some speeds and so on. That would be very nice if, if there would be some something like uh, uh, that feature. Okay, I hope you liked that video and if I would ask you kindly to... because that helps the channel and I'll always be happy if you give me some feedback 
or say just hello. And uh, yeah, I hope I see you soon again. Stay healthy. See you. Ciao, ciao.